not every ball is going to be hit right to you. And if you're not quick enough to field the ball in front of you, you're going to have to know how to use your backhand. So in this iSport lesson, we are going to learn how to field a ground ball with your backhand. Using your backhand when the ball is a foot away from you is a bad habit to develop. If you can get your body behind the ball, you should field it like a routine ground ball. It's when the ball is too far that you can't get your body behind it that you'll need to use your backhand. If you are right-handed, you should use your backhand when a hit is so far to your right that you can't get your body behind it. When using your backhand, take as many steps towards the ball as necessary. And since you'll have to use your backhand, you'll likely have to sprint to get it. When you run towards the ball, make sure to keep your knees bent to keep you low to the ground. Not only will this make it easier for you to field the ball, but it will also help you transition into your throw quicker. When you get to the ball, try to time it so you lower your glove to the ground at the same time that you take your final step towards the ball with your glove side foot. You should be in a lunge position with your hips square to the ball, your left foot forward, and your right foot back. Turn your glove thumb side so your thumb is to the left of the ball and your pinky is to its right. Your fingers should be on the ground with your palm underneath and behind the ball. And even though it's your backhand, you'll still want to use soft hands to absorb its force. Once the ball is in your glove, use your throwing hand to secure the back of your glove and then bring both your glove and ball up into position to throw. What you don't want to do is torque your glove to your throwing side by just moving it to that side, keeping your thumb to the left of the ball. Always turn your wrist thumb side. Now, after you've caught the ball, make sure your feet are set before you throw, especially because you are not facing your target when you field these types of grounders Setting your feet will ensure that your throw has accuracy. Rushing your throw often results in errors. The easiest and fastest way to get into position will be to bring your back leg forward as your initial step to your throw. Then follow through with your right foot and throw. To get used to turning your wrist thumb side, practice a simple triangle drill. Draw the triangle on the ground then get into a position to field the ball with your back hand. You should be in your lunge position. Using no glove at first, focus on absorbing a slow roller, getting used to fielding the ball with your wrist turned. After about five or 10 grounders, put your glove on and repeat the same thing, but the grounders should have a little more speed behind the ball. Now let's review what we've just learned. Only use your backhand if you can't get your body behind the ball. Turn your glove thumb side so your fingers are underneath the ball and your palm is behind it. Use soft hands and secure the ball with two hands. And always set your feet before you throw.